Good afternoon on your Friday. Welcome to our KRQB.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith and the forecast. Well, good afternoon. We're looking at wind advisories across much of the state, east central portions of the state, as well as west central portions of the state. We also have a high wind watch as you head into the southwest, and all of this in combination with dry conditions for the day leads to red flag warnings for today, expiring this evening across much of the state. Fire weather watches as you head down into the Sacramento's. As we head through the weekend, over the day today, first of all, we'll see dry and windy conditions, more cloud cover as the day goes on, with our next storm system approaching at, over toward the west, and as it does so, we'll see windy conditions, especially for tomorrow. Winds could be gusting up to 55 miles per hour in some locations, even 60 miles per hour in some of the locations in the east as we head through tomorrow as the storm system approaches. And we could get a spot shower, especially here in the metro and over the northwestern portions of the state. Taking a look at your seven-day forecast, we'll drop the temperature as that storm system comes through, only, in, only into the 60s for tomorrow, into the mid-50s for Sunday. But after that storm system passes, the winds calm down a little bit and we break into more sunshine, as well as warmer temperatures for the beginning of next week. Thanks so much, John. Governor Susana Martinez has signed a $5.4 billion budget bill and also used her line item veto powers to trim some spending from the measure. Martinez signed the budget along with other financial measures today, which was the deadline for acting on proposals that were passed by the legislature. After the line item vetoes, the budget provides for a cut in state spending of about 3% in the next fiscal year. The governor signed a bill to limit film production tax rebates to $50 million a year, which frees up an estimated $23 million for the budget. Also signed was a measure to save $111 million by requiring state workers and educators to pay more into their pensions, while government reduces its payroll contributions by a similar amount. Authorities in Las Cruces caught up with a woman after police say she stole an unlocked squad car at the scene of a car crash, then sped away. 29-year-old Megan Gutierrez was arrested yesterday and booked on multiple charges, including auto theft. The chase ended when Gutierrez crashed the police car into a wall. Gutierrez has previously been convicted for threatening Las Cruces firefighters. And stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great weekend, everybody.